You who? Only me. Leanne, what brings you here? Oh, silly Roz. <laughs> Flower mix-up. We had some spare, so I thought a few blooms might help brighten up your day. Oh, well, that's very kind. I, I don't think I have a vase. No, well, I grabbed one on the way with a splash of water to boot. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you fired that Carla yet? Leanne. Oh, please, Chris, I need to know that that woman is gone. It's not a matter I can discuss with you. Oh, no, right, I understand. I'm not sure you do. I know that you'll do the right thing. I have faith in your wisdom and your decisiveness. Oh, that's the thing, Leanne, I'm not decided. Well, why ever not? That's all I'm going to say. Well, after all those terrible things she did all those years ago... You don't know anything about that. Yeah, because you won't tell me. Leanne, you don't work here. It is quite simply none of your business. Yeah, of course it is my business. That woman is a threat to my family. If you mean Nicole, she's made it quite clear what she thinks. Oh, well, let me guess. <laughs> Carla is a saint. Butter wouldn't melt. Nicole. Am I right? Nicole made some very good points. Yeah, because Nicole is under that witch's spell, don't you see? Okay, enough. Oh, look, I know you just think I'm silly and I'm all hocus-pocus and crystals. But I can smell a bad egg when I see one, and that Carla is sulphur and brimstone through and through. I truly believe she is a witch. Oh, on, the way, no, she, Stop, on the way, no, Please, you sound like a child. Yeah, because... I'm trying to make you see. Oh, I see, all right. You're just like, for the woman your daughter calls a friend. Oh. Right, I see. You're keeping her on, aren't you? You're letting Carla stay. I've said enough. You're a fool, Chris Warner. She doesn't give Let me a... start by apologising. I was rude, ungracious, judgmental. I let my emotions get the better of me, and I'm sorry. Did the hospital lawyer tell you to say this? My conscience did. After quite a severe telling off from Nicole Miller. She thinks very highly of you, Carla. I think very highly of her. Yeah, she went a bit overboard, but uh, she made some valid points, unlike her mother. You spoke to Leanne. I can assure you I said nothing to her about what happened all those years ago, or what some people think happened. People like you? It was so long ago. Memory is a tricky thing. And let's face it, back then you had no idea who I was. You only had eyes for Tiffany. A few others. Dr. Love. Oh, please. I'm not that man anymore, I hope. We all grow, Chris. We all change. That is why I've been struggling. With what to do with me? You really are conflicted. I want to do the right thing. For the hospital and for you. I do believe you mean that. Of course. Chris. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Oh, I think perhaps... Um... Especially now, what with Zara's disappearance, I'm needed here now more than ever. Carla? I'll keep up with my existing clients, but I, I, the staff will need counselling. Which will be provided, of course. I hope so. But we won't be using you, Carla. I'm sorry. Nor will we be needing your services going forward. What? This was not an easy decision. I see. I'm trying to do the right thing here. Yeah, maybe you should try harder! I'm so, sorry, I just... I'm so passionate about my work, about, about helping people. Perhaps for a while you should focus on helping yourself. I don't believe you're entirely well, Carla. I think that outburst just now confirms what I already feared. But I'm needed here. I think going now is best. But uh, now is not the time. I'm needed here. Wherever you go, Carla. I hope you get the help you need. You really are conflicted, aren't you? You're better than this. You don't judge people. It's not about judgment. Don't people deserve a second chance? Of course people deserve a second chance. You know that, Chris. We all deserve a second chance. Say it with me. We all deserve a second chance. We all deserve a second chance. The hospital needs you. The hospital needs you.